So after watching season 2 of GGK recently, I just finished it. I would say that season 2 is way better than season 1, but the only reason I think that is because when I first did watch season 1 of JJK, honestly, for some reason I didn't like it. Like, there were some good parts where like, when Megumi fought Sukuna and then when Sukuna beat that S-class curse spirit, that was a little crazy. Or like, when we first got introduced at first S-class spirit, that was really good. And like, it took me like three times to get into like, season one of jjk and when i say three times like i had to rewatch first four episodes of jjk like three times because i don't know for some reason i just couldn't get into it and i think the reason i wasn't able to really get into jjk season one probably was because i was just getting back into watching anime because like i took like a little break from watching it and then i was like looking for an anime to watch and then people were saying to us jjk like i had a friend tell me jjk was good uh -huh. and i already heard about jjk and i like i watched it before my friends told one of my friend told me to watch it and i liked the first four episodes but by the fourth episode i couldn't like i didn't really care to watch it anymore and then i tried it again didn't watch it third time didn't like i just like was like all right and then i tried one more time and i was like i'm gonna just finish season one regardless if i like it or i don't and i just watched season one and i was like okay i eventually find out that jjk is like one of the biggest enemy especially because like it blew up and then season two drop and then season two was just way better than season one and i think a lot of people would agree that season two was way better than season season one yeah season one just for some reason it didn't have like enough meaning to me so because you know like we were just getting to know the characters and all that and then we get season two and then now we're like we know the characters and then what i liked about season two as well was say the first half was gojo and ghetto's backstory because we all wanted to know like how their friendship was and all that and i know in the movie it did show a little bit of their friendship i'm pretty sure i haven't watched it i haven't watched the jjk zero movie so i don't really know what they really had i just know that ghetto and yuta fought and yuta pretty much won then gojo finished off ghetto and then it was interesting because i never i did like i said i didn't watch the jjk movie so finding out that gojo and ghetto were friends for me it was like oh damn because on season one when i when i saw ghetto i was like bro this dude knows a little too much about jujutsu high and then he was like a student from jujutsu high that's why he knew so much right then he got taken over by that brain dude whatever and then the second part of jjk when they go back to like the current time shibuya starts going down i'm not gonna lie though shibuya incident was a little it was good but i was expecting more because people were like hyping it up like crazy they were like Get prepared for it. Get prepared for Shibuya. Get prepared for Shibuya. Shibuya's about to be crazy. And I was like, all right, I'm, I'm getting ready. Like, it was, don't get me wrong. The Shibuya incident was good. Really good. It wasn't as crazy as I thought because I think people overhyped it too much. And then now, it's getting even better because we got Yuta introduced. And then we're starting to get Itadori back into the story because we're like, most of the episodes even though he's the main character of the show the show was even about him for like the first 10 episodes of season two and then they start introducing him they start showing how he's starting to change from like he didn't want to kill any cursed spirits to it to now he's like i don't care he's gonna kill the cursed spirits because they hurt the people and he's not gonna hold back anymore and then at the end he showed him clap his hands and then cursed spirits went up is that his new ability or what was that and now we got introduced to yuta and at first i was like let's go because i heard yuta is very strong and he he looks very strong but now he wants to assassinate yuji so i was like bro what in the freak so at first i was like all right this dude's pretty cool and then now he wants to assassinate yuji so it's like bro well because he was ordered to assassinate him but like still like <sighs> And it's crazy once gojo gets sealed they're like they try to act all big and bad now it's like bruh gojo's most likely gonna get out of that out of that box and two yuji's not gonna get killed so i wonder what yuda's gonna do because i'm pretty sure yuji's not gonna get killed because gojo's gonna probably come in like like boy calm down yeah, and my favorite character in the show is yuji even though he's barely in it but like now i think he's gonna start being in it and i feel like the mangaka the creator of jjk he really doesn't care about taking away the main character because like as you as we know from season one he literally had yuji die on like the fourth episode i feel like that's why i couldn't really get into jjk because the first couple episodes were really good and then it just went slow you know what i mean and it's like like 
it started out like really good and then it just started going a little slow and then it went good again and then slow and it was just like bruh because like if you're going to make your enemy fast just keep it fast paced but i know because it had to go slow because i had to introduce like the power skill and all that and like how the abilities work a little bit but overall yeah season two was really good i wonder what you guys thought uh give me your thoughts on season two who's your favorite character and i'm gonna do a video on mahito bro this dude is a well-written character but so annoying but we all know what happened so it's okay but hope you guys enjoyed comment down your favorite character from jjk and what do you think did you think season one was better or season two peace out